Okay. Um, another thing we were we were looking at job descriptions, or many of you were looking at job descriptions this week as well. And there was something interesting that uh, I was I was writing with one of my former students this morning. He had two. Um, he applied to a data engineer role, and they said, "Well, um, they think for him it's more a data architect." would be more the, the thing for him and we were he wasn't on he wasn't sure if data architect is actually the right uh the right way to go and uh, or what is what is better engineer or architect um so generally and i wanted to show you this this is from a um, from norway company don't actually know what the company this is. Fin ah, doesn't matter. So the interesting parts are here below the responsibilities. Um, and this is for the let's quickly first look at the arc the um, the engineer role. And they said in this responsibility work closely with various data domains or let are we open this side by side this most like the, is the better way to do it so they say here it starts basically the same um work closely with various data domains and business areas on uh, mapping and designing information flow for data this is basically the same um mapping and designing information flow across data producers and consumers which is a lot what we were talking about earlier with you're getting data from one source and you're basically transforming it and you're mapping it and you're writing it into a data uh, into a data sync and then the interesting part comes here the right one is the engineer the left one is the um, is the architect for the engineer, they say design, build, and operate cloud-based data warehouse, data mart, and data lake solutions, which ensure optimal storage, compute, performance, information, security, and privacy. So design, build, and operate, here they say uh, the data warehouse, right? And the, the, the data lakes. And in the left one, it's a lot more vague. In the left one, it says design and implement of data schemas for solutions within your own area most likely th uh, this is why uh, this is because this job here is a lot more hands-on is a lot more down to okay you have this job here operate our data warehouse and manage our data warehouse and uh, be technically responsible for these for these things whereas the um the architect is more working on the on the whole design part more working on figuring out okay we have this problem how could we design the data warehouse how could we or which which tools do we use um, are we going to the data lake are we going to the data warehouse so it's more of a um, of, of a of a higher um, no more abstract way of, of thinking um, For instance, here preparing baseline for mapping between producers and consumers. That's that's what I mean. Like the architect is looking at okay, what are what are the producers? What are the consumers of the data? How should I? How should the mapping actually be done? How the the, the architect plans this, but it's not that the architect is then later uh, responsible for all the. Uh, for the um, for the implementation and for the operation of these pipelines, so it, yeah, that's that's something I wanted to show you because uh, a architect most likely can can work as an engineer because you need to have the engineering skills, right? You need to you need to actually figure out or know how the engineer should realize that. But the engineer doesn't need to or is not necessarily be capable to be an architect. 
uh, because the architecture is uh, you need to have a, a bit more skills around okay how do i choose um which tools to use how do i uh, create the the as they say here the baseline for how to how to process the data how to map the data from one to another source so yeah um i think that's that's an important part so you could you can also look for data architect if you want um but it's as i said if you're if you're a lot into the architecture type um it makes sense if you if you're interested in doing that it's a lot more challenging i personally don't like that i like that more than the than just the engineering roles because the engineering roles uh are always a bit in danger that there's actually somebody who's doing the thinking for you and you're just doing the the execution so it's always a bit dangerous yeah do they yeah uh, what you can also see this here build and operate both batch and real-time pipelines that's the first thing they they mention here and here's the first thing uh, you have knowledge within domain driven design or let's forget about domain driven about design and connecting local and central data models so it's it's on a it's on a different on a different or in a different area actually and this is more about building and operating this is more about designing and modeling 